Hola, ¿qué tal? Present tense of ser. Subject pronouns. To learn Spanish verbs, you first need to know about subject pronouns. A subject pronoun replaces a person, place, thing, or concept in a sentence and acts as the subject of the verb. For example, María es la profesora can be restated as Ella es la profesora. The subject pronoun Ella replaces the name María and acts as the subject of the verb ser. In both Spanish and English, subject pronouns are divided into first, second, and third person. Each group hath both singular and plural forms. Repeat after me to learn the pronunciation of the subject pronouns in Spanish. Yo, tú, usted, él, ella, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras, ustedes, ellos, ellas. Muy bien. Notice that in Spanish there are two equivalents of the English singular subject pronoun you. In Spanish, the subject pronoun tú is used to address a good friend, a family member, or a child. The pronoun usted is used to address somebody with whom you have a more formal relationship, such as your work supervisor, someone you don't know very well, or an important professor, um, like me. <laughs> the masculine plural forms nosotros, vosotros, and ellos can refer to a group of males, or a mixed group of males and females. The feminine plural forms nosotras, vosotras, and ellas can only refer to a group of females. Note that there is no Spanish equivalent of the subject pronoun it. Generally, it is not expressed. Es una computadora. The present tense of ser. The verb ser means to be in English. You have already heard some forms of ser in use while watching the first photonovela episode. ¿Quién es uno de los chicos de las fotos? Jimena y Felipe. Sí. Ellos son estudiantes. Felipe es un chico muy activo. Now here are the singular forms of ser. Yo soy. Tú eres. Usted, él, ella, es. Here are the plural forms of ser. Nosotros, nosotras, somos. Vosotros, vosotras, sois. Ustedes, ellos, ellas, son. This is important. Ser is an irregular verb so you should memorize all of the forms you just learned. Now let's look at the uses of ser. Ser is used in Spanish to identify people and things. ¿Quién es ella? Es Maite. Ser is also used with the preposition de to express possession. ¿De quién es el diccionario? El diccionario es de Javier. Note that de, followed by el, contracts to form del. El diccionario es del chico. Ser is also used with the preposition de to express origin. ¿Usted es de Cuba? Sí, de La Habana. Y Roberto es de Mérida. Tú eres de Wisconsin, ¿verdad? Sí, de Appleton, Wisconsin. 
Ser is also used to express profession or occupation. Don Francisco es conductor. Look closely at this sentence again. Remember this. Unlike English, Spanish does not use the indefinite article after ser when referring to professions unless accompanied by a descriptive adjective. Yo soy profesor. Yo soy un profesor excelente. Hasta mañana.